Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from Ionic Academy. Today we will take a look at how to easily upgrade our Ionic 2 app to Ionic 3. So I've already started with a uh, Tubs template and created a simple Ionic 2 app. So we see a home screen, we see a about screen, a contact screen. And from the code side, we also got a custom component. And let's see, we can uh, actually zoom in a bit so you can see the code better okay so we got a custom component which is used inside our home html and this looks like hello world very simple component and also on the about screen we got a pipe so we got our custom pipe here and we will now start with our ionic 2 project um, and see inside our package json that we're currently still on angular 2x and Ionic also not updated by now. So the first step now is to upgrade our dependencies. I will copy these and you can find them in the related article. Um, more or less, it's about updating these two fields. So dependencies and dev dependencies. I've copied in uh, some or all of them. Um, if you have other dependencies or need specific versions, make sure to check that. But Basically, we're updating all the Angular stuff to 4.0. We're updating uh, Ionic Angular to 3.0 or 1. And the rest is also updated a bit. So if you've done this, go ahead and uh, remove your node modules folder and call npm install to again install your dependencies. Uh, we can leave this for now. So this will install in the background. Now with uh, Ionic 3, we got this lazy loading we want to implement. This means uh, we don't use all of our pages here inside the declarations and the entry components because they will be loaded in time just when we need them. So first of all, we can start and remove almost all of the pages we have imported here and also the custom component, the pipes, all that stuff can be removed. As well, we can also remove, of course, the imports for the pipes, the components, and the pages. And we'll leave all of this to only import my app, which is defined inside app components. So we will take care of this uh, in a second. Now, what we need to do is for all of our pages, we need to create a new file and this will always have the structure of the name.module.ts. And this file looks uh, almost every time the same. Um, I'm currently using this. So this is the tops page, I guess. Yes, this is the tops page. And we import the tops page. We declare the tabs page, we export it, um, and we export the class. If you're currently using the generate command um, at the time of writing this, you will end up with um, a new folder with this uh, module file, but only Ionic module. So in that case, make sure to change it to Ionic page module and also up here to Ionic page module. This is a common error and hopefully this is uh, already removed at the time of recording this. Okay, so now we've created this module file for our tabs and we need to create the same file for home, contact and about as well. Um, I will skip this for now and move on to the next uh, stage. Let's see, we're already installed. Um, and yeah, everything fails. So don't be scared in the beginning. We will handle this. Okay, now in our app component, we now actually don't need to import the tabs page anymore. Because what we will do is we will simply use it by the name. So this is enough to uh, let Ionic know it should load the tabs page and Ionic will look it up and find it right here if we type it correctly like this and find it inside our tabs module. Um, 
Okay, perhaps I should restart my um, loading. So maybe the changes were a bit too much for Ionic in the beginning. Um, yeah, of course it has. Yeah, perhaps I should save my package JSON before I uh, actually remove my node modules and install them again. But uh, we can call this again in the background and continue because um, another thing we need to make additionally to creating this module file is adding another decorator called ionic page and we also need to import our decorator from um, ionic core so we import from ionic angular now this in combination with the tabs module is now enough to make sure that ionic knows about our page and can connect everything you can already see that we got three more tabs here and just like before we can go ahead and change all of them to be strings and remove all of the imports we got up here we don't need them anymore um, Let's see, we got this, we got that. We're installing and now we can actually start again. Um, let me just create the other files as well. Okay, so I've created all the needed files like our about module, the contact module, the home module, and all of this follow just the same uh, approach like we had before, importing the page, declarations, imports, exports, and everything's fine. Now, currently it is uh, complaining about Ionic Native because I also changed from Ionic Native 2 to Ionic Native 3. With Ionic Native 3, we only got this core package and the, like the splash screen and status bar, which are normally included in the beginning inside your uh, app components here has changed a bit. So if you're updating this as well, make sure to apply these changes as well. So now we're not importing it from Ionic Native anymore, but from these packages. So all of the features are uh, distributed in their single sub package, and this will help to decrease the, uh, the size of your app. Also, when using it here, of course, make sure to add it to your providers now as well. And hopefully our app is now somehow starting or giving us another error because upgrading your app will more or less be, um, yeah, will include some errors. And if you see them now, you might find the, it quite useful for you as well. So I don't know, my, my reloading currently is a bit, I don't know, out of place and not working every time. So not all the errors you see are really errors. But let's continue. So we got our uh, our modules ready and inside our home we're now using this custom component. But as our home module is not really linked inside app module anymore, it has actually no chance of knowing about our custom component. Um, ah, and also, of course, an error you can make quite easily is forgetting uh, to add the ionic page decorator right here so we should do this now ionic page and make sure to import it as well always ionic page okay so about contact home everyone has the page decorator okay perfect now we get another whatever error okay so for whatever reasons, um, they don't like this by now, uh, of course, because we should use the lowercase, which we have imported in our uh, constructor up here through the injection and reloading and seeing the next error. Okay, so this is actually a new one. And you see template parse error custom is not a known element. This is what I was talking about this element or this custom component cannot be um, known to this component. 
So now we have to go to our components and inside the components, we create a new file as well and we will call it um, components modules.ts. Um, let's copy this. Inside this components modules ts, we now want to uh, import our component and export it so the rest of the Ionic app knows about it. So inside the declarations, we can put our custom component and you see it will be imported right here. And we put it to exports and inside the imports, we leave everything empty. And this was just our components module. Now, if we import this components module uh, at the top of our app, it actually doesn't work at the moment. I'm not sure if it should work. I'm not completely sure about this. But what works is using this components module inside the imports um, of the module where you need it. So let me show you. We import the components module uh, right here inside our home because in the home HTML is the place where we uh, used the uh, custom component. So now we got a new error. Ion card header is not a known element. Uh, I think for some reasons that my Ionic is not really installed very fine at the moment. But let's continue for a second. As you've seen for the components, uh, with the components module, we also got the pipes. And we do just the same right here. So create a pipes module.ts. And again, I'm a bit lazy. Let's copy this to the pipes module. But of course, now we don't want to export this, but our custom pipe. So import, export, and this is the pipes module. Again, the pipes module um, won't really work uh, at the top of our app. So importing it up here is not working, um, but we have used it, I don't know, on the about screen, I guess, yeah. That's where we used our custom pipe. And again, this is the place. Go to the module, import your pipes module, and hit save. Now, let me fix these random errors for a second. Actually, I learned something new while recording this video. So for your components modules TS, you also have to import Ionic module inside the imports. Um, if you don't import this, you can still use like standard HTML, but if you use Ionic components like Ionic Card in my example, you need to make sure to import the Ionic module right here. After this, um, just like before, import it to your page and everything works again just like before. Our pipe is working inside the about page because we imported the pipe module and we now have lazy loading in our app our declarations um, and entry components are fine. If you have um, your own providers, they are still added like normally, so you don't need uh, any special module for this. But make sure to create for your pages the module, for the pipes the pipe module, and for the components the components module. Um, if you need any more help, make sure to check out the according uh, quick win on the Ionic Academy and also um, if you want more Ionic training, make sure to check out the Ionic Academy. So thanks for listening and see you next time.